Today, I'm walking you step-by-step step through creating a crypto portfolio dashboard in Excel. You'll be able to calculate the market value of your Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings and how much profit you've made on those investments. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how easy it is to update this dashboard with new data. But before we go any further, let me know in the comments, why are you creating a crypto portfolio dashboard in Excel? While you're at it, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And let's get started right now. To start, we're gonna enter the tickers of the cryptocurrencies that we want to track. And so Excel tracks Bitcoin, I'm gonna type BTC, and then USD for the currency in which we want the price stated. Next, I'm gonna type ETH for Ethereum and then USD as well. Now I'm gonna highlight these two, go up to data and click on the stocks data type. And you know Excel recognized these tickers when you see that little institution symbol on the left side of the ticker. And I'll show you some cool stuff you can do with that, but for now, we're gonna start filling out our table with our purchase history. I'm gonna call this column currency. This column's gonna be coins purchased. This column's gonna be the purchase price. And this here is going to be the portfolio cost. And so in this instance, we purchased 10 Bitcoin and we did so at a price of $40,000. And the portfolio cost is just the coins purchased times the purchase price. And then for Ethereum, we also purchased 10. Purchase price was $2,800. And we can just copy that portfolio cost and paste it down. At this point, I recommend creating an actual Excel table. So I'm gonna highlight the data, go up here to insert, click on table or press Control T, table's got headers, so click OK. A little table hygiene here. I don't like this formatting, so I'm gonna go up here and clear it, and I'm just gonna uncheck the filter buttons as well. Because we've got a table, there's some cool things we can do here. I'm gonna start typing price, and you'll see that Excel recognizes this currency data type and auto-populates price, and if I click on that, the actual price of Bitcoin and Ethereum gets populated into our table. I'm gonna press F2 to edit this because I'm gonna call it current price. Next up, I'm gonna create a column for portfolio value and the portfolio value is calculated as the current price times the number of coins that we purchased. And you see here, we've got our structured referencing that comes from tables. So when I press enter, that formula automatically fills down. Moving on, we wanna calculate our gain or our loss and it's looking like a loss for us. So that is just equal to the portfolio value minus the portfolio cost. And as expected, we've got a big loss here. There's two more data points that we wanna add. One way we can add them is click on this add column button here and we want the 52 week high. And so when I click on that, automatically populated into our table. Another way we can add data to our table is just to press start a new formula, select Bitcoin, and then select 52 week low here by pressing enter. Excel is trying to recognize a pattern here, but it's it's not doing a good job. So it's actually, it's actually the 52 week low. And now the last thing we're going to do is add a trend line. And to do that, we're gonna go up here to insert. I'm gonna click on line and the data range that we want. It's just the 52 week high and 52 week low. Click okay. And we can just copy that trend line down for Ethereum. And the trend line looks accurate, but it's not a pretty story. So now we're gonna rapid fire, run through some things to make this look like a proper dashboard. I'm gonna click up here, Control Shift Plus, and I'm gonna add a title. It's the How To Analyst Crypto Portfolio Dashboard. And I'm gonna bold this and then highlight all the cells across and give it a bottom border. Moving down to all of the data here, it's all financial. So I'm gonna highlight it, click dollar sign, and then reduce the number of decimal points because I don't want to see decimals. For the gain or loss, I wanna show a symbol depending on what we see here. So I'm gonna highlight the data, go to conditional formatting, icon sets, and I like these right here. And I'll go back to here to manage rules, and I'm gonna edit this rule. And it defaults to percent, so I'm gonna update the type to number. The value is greater than or equal to zero. I want the green. When it's in between zero and zero, I'll take this red bar. I'm not gonna see that very often. And when it's less than zero, I want this red bar. So click okay and click apply. 
Again, it looks accurate, but it's not a good story to tell. Let me go up here to view. I'm gonna unselect formula bar, headings, and grid lines. I'm gonna highlight all of these headers here, and I'm gonna bold them, but I really want the numbers to show and pop, not the headers. So I'm gonna select a gray color. That's just gonna add more emphasis to the numbers that we're showing for our table. I'm gonna press Control A to highlight it all, Control one to open the format cells dialog. Under color, I'm gonna check a gray color and I'm just gonna add borders to the top, the middle and the bottom and click okay. And those subtle borders don't get in the way of the actual numbers, which is what we really care about. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna increase the zoom a bit to 150% and then right click and collapse the ribbon. So now we've got a really good looking dashboard if we want to enter new data into it, right click, go to insert, table row below, and all the cool stuff that we just created is automatically brought down. Excel also supports Litecoin, LTC. Do that in the USD and press enter. There's our institution icon, so we know that data type was recognized. In this case, we purchased 10 coins. We purchased them at $25. And we can see our conditional formatting worked. We're actually in the green on this one. And if you liked this video, YouTube's gonna recommend another video of mine that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. So check it out and I will see you next time.